Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video, welcome to my garage. This video's mission for today, actually for this weekend, I won't get this all done in one day, is to take Mahler apart all the way down to nothing. So in the last video, I had taken the body off of Mahler. Since then, I cut the body apart with my plasma cutter and I took the panels that I wanted, like these, and I literally plasma cut them right off. So now they're essentially just like, they're just panels. They're like the fiberglass panels that are on Ratchet, but these are the actual, just the panels. I just literally, with the plasma cutter, cut them right off. I did the same thing with the roof here. I'll show you a little time lapse of me torching some of it. It, it took it took a couple days, but I literally just ran the plasma cutter around and cut everything out. And this isn't finished. I I want to go back. clean all of this up, cut stuff like this out so that there's literally nothing left except the panels. And that's what I'm going to use to, I'm going to use those as the skin for the new chassis so that it'll have a tube chassis in there, but it'll look like, um, it'll still look like an actual Baja bug. Now some of you guys, if, you, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll remember that when, when I was doing Ratchet, I had said I didn't want to cut up a Volkswagen body. And that's true. When I was building Ratchet, you know, I had Mauler, but I needed a body for Ratchet. And I didn't want to go out into the world and find a Volkswagen body, bring it home, and cut it all up. I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to take a body out of the world. I know that seems kind of silly, but I just I didn't want to do that. That's what drove me to make the fiberglass panels for Ratchet by using Mahler's body for the molds. And in doing that, I did not I did not subtract any Volkswagen bodies from the world. I created a body. But Mahler's different because Mahler already had that body. That body was in terrible, terrible shape. That body was not going to be used for anything else. Either I left it as it is or it would eventually be destroyed. So by me cutting up that body, I don't consider that me taking a body out of the world because I didn't go out and secure a body and then just scrap it for parts. I took the body that already that I already had that was in terrible shape and I'm cutting that up and I'm still using it. You guys may or may not see it that way, but in my head, I still don't feel like I have just pulled a body out of the world. <laughs> I'm a little bit cramped in here right now because I actually, today's Saturday, on Thursday, or actually on Wednesday, I loaded up Ratchet onto the trailer 
and I was all set. I had the, taken the day off of Thursday, and I was all set to take him to uh, the off-road park to do some more shakedowns and, and just play around with him. So I had him all loaded up, ready to go. I mean, he's connected, connected to the Jeep, whole nine yards. Then I found out that the off-road park was closed due to muddy conditions. So that scrapped that. So he's sitting here. I'm going to go. This is a, a weekend. This is a holiday weekend. So I'm not going to go this weekend because it would be way too crowded. Monday's a holiday. I'm not going to go Monday because it would be too crowded. So I think now I'm going to try to PTO probably Wednesday. Take him, do some playing around there. Uh, but in the meantime, he's just going to sit on the trailer here waiting. I also have added hydraulic brakes to the trailer. I didn't do a video of that, but um, the trailer now basically stops for itself, which is really nice, much, much safer to pull. And uh, I did I did try hydraulic brakes because I've had them before and I I think they really work well and then I don't have to I don't have to cut into any of the Jeep's wiring or anything. So And then you can see that on Mauler here I've gone ahead and done some of the ugly parts, the messy parts, like I took the fuel system out, I took the, f the fuel tank out, I drained the coolant, took the radiator out, and I've taken off some of the electrical, but really just pulling back like headlight wiring, stuff like that. This was my main electrical box, which was underneath the seat. Uh, this is freestanding, ready to go. Got the main harness here. This is basically the harness that was for all the vehicle lighting and stuff. I still have the ECU there and the engine wiring is still in place, but the first thing I'm gonna do is pull that off. I have gone through, I've labeled everything really, really well so that when I pull this off, and put it back on in a couple of months, hopefully I shouldn't have any question as to where all of the plugs go. I've tried to go through and basically label everything so it's pretty pretty self-explanatory when I put it back on and I've already taken the throttle body off as well. So what I'm gonna do right now to get started is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all the engine wiring off, then I'm gonna pull off the rear cage here I'm gonna loosen up the motor mounts, take all of that stuff off. Then this, this chassis, if you wanna call it that, I originally built it with the air-cooled motor, which was a lot smaller. So when I put the Ecotec in here, the clearance with this bar was real tight. You can see I even notched some of that oil cap so that it would clear under there. So it's really, really tight there, which makes it real tricky putting it in and out. And since all of this is getting cut up and scrapped anyways, what I'm gonna do is once I get this off, I'm actually just gonna cut this bar out so it'll be real easy for me to hook the chains up there and get this out of there. So those are the things that I'm gonna do right now.
Okay, now Mauler has the engine out, transaxle out. I've taken the floors out, of course the electrical's out. I've taken the clutch brake assembly out of there. I took the cutting brake out of there. I pumped out all of the brake fluid, took the lines out. So really what I'm looking at now is just a bare chassis. So I think at this point, I should be able to just start unbolting things, taking them apart down to the chassis itself. And then as I'm doing that, I'm going to be cutting the chassis apart so that I can kind of get it out of here. What I'm, what I'm doing to save myself space is as I take these pieces apart, I take them and I'm storing them down in the basement so that when I get Mauler completely taken apart here, then I can start with a, a new chassis build right here and then bolt a lot of this stuff right back up to that. So that's what I'm going to do now is just get out the wrenches and take this the rest of the way apart. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I know I told you that when I was done, Mueller would be 100% gone. I have all the suspension taken off of him. Pretty much everything's unbolted from him. I have to cut a lot more pieces off yet, especially in the rear. This front clip here, I'm going to surgically cut that off of this chassis because I actually designed the front end of Ratchet off of this front end. The geometry on here is the same geometry as Ratchet. Ratchet's just a little bit larger. So I really like this front end. So I'm gonna cut this front end off and I'm going to put it onto the new chassis that I'm building. That'll save me a lot of time and I, I love this front end. So this front end is good to go. So I still have to do that and then just a, cut, a bunch of cutting in the rear, but in these videos, it probably seems like I just randomly move along, but I actually usually have a time frame. This is now Monday, and I want to finish this video on Monday because on Wednesday, I want to take Ratchet to the off-road park, and I've got a, a really big car show coming up in my town that I've got Ratchet set up for, so I have a couple of things that I need to have put into place so that I have Ratchet there ready to go for the car show. I'm probably gonna do a video on a couple of things I've done on the Ratchet just to make him a little bit more uh, uh, car show worthy. <laughs> so 
Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helping you with whatever you're working on. The next video, this will be gone, and we will be starting to build the chassis, probably just the base of the chassis. But in the next video, we are going to start building. Everything thus far has been tearing apart, which is fine, but it's going to be a lot more exciting to start building. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you on the next video. Take care.